As believers, you and I are called to live supernatural lives. And as part of living a supernatural life is to walk uh, a, a walk of faith, to live a life of faith. So what does it mean to live a life of faith? It means to live a life that's consistent with what we believe. And um, we are also called to live according to the faith of Abraham. And Abraham is an example for each one of us. If you want to live a life of faith, um, he lived by faith. So I just want to read from Romans chapter 4 and verses 16 to 21. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed, God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. So Abraham believed God. Now that might seem like a very simple statement, but the fact is that uh, uh, we need to ask ourselves uh, ask ourselves and see, uh, you know, do I believe God? Do we believe God? In the pages of scripture, we see God introducing himself and showing himself his qualities, his attributes. So uh, in certain places, we see that God comes and he introduces himself as the provider. He introduces himself as the healer. He introduces, introduces himself as the God of peace and so on. So um, when we believe God, do we believe selectively or do we believe him for who he is? Now that's the question. So it says here that Abraham believed God. He just completely trusted him, completely believed him. So that's one thing for us to learn. If we need to walk in the faith of Abraham, then we need to come to a place of just believing him, believing God for who he is. The next verse, verse 18 says, who contrary to hope in hope believed so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken. So Abraham had faith. It says here, who contrary to hope in hope believed. So despite the circumstances, despite what was around, the things that he saw daily, he hoped, he had an expectation. So that's the second thing for us who want to live as, and also have the kind of faith that Abraham had. We need to have hope. Now, life can be tough right now, or we could be in a season where everything seems to be a dead end. There's no, there's no, doesn't seem to be any light at all at the end of the tunnel. But can we have hope? And can we look to God and have hope? And have an expectation and a desire saying that, yes, I believe in God and things will get better. So the second thing is to have hope. Now hope leads us to faith. Hope, having that expectation, having that desire, it leads, it leads us to hope, it leads us to faith. And the third one is that Abraham did not consider his own body. He went beyond the facts. Yes, the fact was that he was, he was uh, old, the fact was that Sarah was old, but he went beyond the facts. So three things. Firstly, Abraham believed God. Secondly, he had hope. And thirdly, he went beyond the facts. So three things that we can put to practice today. So let's pray, even as we look at walking in faith. Father God, we, we just pray today, even as we looked at Abraham, the lessons that we learned from Abraham, I pray that each one of us will put our faith in you, that we will believe you for who you are. We will believe what you said you will do, that you will do. And I pray that we'll come to a place of uh, having that consistent hope because you are the God of all hope. And that we will go beyond the facts, that we will look beyond the facts and come to the place of truth. Father, we commit today into your mighty hands. We commit our lives into your mighty hands. We pray that we will walk the walk of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.